guys. So, visual arts. Visual arts today, which means we are going to do some art. We're gonna use some markers and paper, some nice visuals, like things that are really nice to look at, really easy on the eyes. So, lines. Let's talk about lines. There's lots of different types of lines, you guys. Now, let me give you some examples of some of the different types of lines. You probably already know yourself. And if I could scribble on the screen, I would, but I'm not as good. I'm not that good with the technology. So you guys, there's squiggly lines. There's straight lines. Those lines are straight and they're parallel, which means they're never gonna meet at any point. There's diagonal lines, which go across like that. There's zigzag lines, and everybody always uses those to, normally to like make like some type of shark or something like that, you know. And then there's I don't know, there's uh, uh, wavy lines, like the ocean, right? There's just so many different types of lines, and lines can curve into a circle. A line does not have to always go straight, okay? A straight line goes straight, but this is also a line, like a closed circuit, right? Like if there is a light bulb at the end of this tunnel here. That's a horrible looking light bulb. Anyhow, so we are going to create a complex puzzle. So a non-complex puzzle would be like, um, a pattern would be like something pattern no we are going to create and make it way more detailed detailed you see me detailed details means these circular things that I have here they should have like I don't know um 10 11 12 more different lines in it like this Now the circle is complicated. I don't even see the middle of the circle, but I know that the lines are circles. So let's get on with making our own complex pattern. It's called a complex pattern. Complex pattern, you guys. I'm gonna use different colors. I don't know how the different colors are gonna look. I don't know how the different colors are gonna look. I, I normally use black and white. I love doing this project because after you're done, it creates like an optical illusion on the eyes. So I'm just going to, you get your marker. This is the supplies you're gonna need. Markers, paper, that's it. Markers, paper, imagination, all right? So you're gonna choose any type of shape, pattern, line that you want, okay? Think about the different types of lines that we have and you're gonna create that pattern. I'm gonna, you could start your pattern at any corner or point on the page. I'm gonna actually start my pattern like over here in this point. And no matter what direction you look at it, it looks correct. So let's start here. I'm very close, very close. And I decided to do a snake shaped line. You don't want your lines to touch. That's the hard part. If your lines touch, it takes away from the optical illusion that goes along with this here. And you just keep going around. It doesn't matter which way you go, See how my line touched, but you know what? It's okay, we're gonna keep going. Now this is something that you can do while drinking some tea in the morning, having some cereal, or if you're just like, you know, I need something I could do, I just, all I have is a paper and a pencil. This is something, this is gonna turn out to be so beautiful. And I wanna stop on that. I wanna go and start a different pattern. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but I'll have it look like that. Now, this is an attachment. Now I have this thing I started, 
Now I'm about to go with this attachment. And I'm about to do the same thing. Don't let any of the lines touch each other, but you want to make that detail by going around and around and around and around again. And do not try to make your pattern like my pattern. Your pattern. So when I get those pictures of you guys' art, I don't want it to be looking like mine. I want it to look like yours. It should look like yours. And see how I'm taking my time? I really want to capture the shape, the original shape there. See how that stopped there? There was a circle here. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I wanted to remind you guys, see all these colors I have here? You can use different colors, but like I said, I, I, I haven't used different colors before, but I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna use a green and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make my pattern with some green here. I'm gonna try to just make that come around. Ooh, green. All right. Okay, you guys. Now we're just gonna do this project real quick and get this and get the look of it.
Okay, you guys, I'm getting there. So I decided to use colors with the black. I have the black in between. And the reason why you, you've got to use some of the black. The black, y'all, is making this color pop out. So the fact that the color is popping out is making this like pop, pop. And so when I put it, I'm going to put it in the glass frame. You may not have a glass frame, but you might have like something like Mod Podge or like clear glue. You can play, paint over it, make it nice and shiny, or you can just leave it the way it is. But I'm gonna finish mine, you finish yours. I'll be back. Okay, I have finished my pattern in completion, which means I finished it. And I put it in like this little paper white frame just cause I found one. I know you probably won't have one, but I found one. But if you wanna put a frame around yours, get a white piece of paper, cut it in strips, and just glue the strips around the edge of your work. And then that'll create the same type of frame here. I love it. Isn't that cool? It creates like a really awesome optical illusion for your eyes. How's that look? Yeah. All right, you guys, so complex patterns. All right, so you use any kind of colors, you use any kind of paper, it's beautiful. Visual art in the making. I miss you guys and I love you and this summer we are going to get with the program with these awesome projects. We're gonna do some lessons though. We gotta do some real lessons, but we're gonna do some building. But for now, we did this.